Hi, my name is Nathan, and today we're going to do a comic book review of Spawn, issue number 320, brought to you by Rated Comics. Now let's get to it. This comic is all about the fight scenes, and man, in my opinion, it doesn't disappoint. We start off with Cyborg on a rampage and give this new villain Soul Crusher a little taste of his mighty gorilla power and strength. I didn't know that Soul Crusher is just a human. Cyborg crushes his gun and gets this soul knotted out the way like a toddler. Even though this book is mainly about the fighting, so the monologue, which is where Spawn goes into the backstory of how Spawn needs Cyborg to help him fight, Spawn is really has a really interesting backstory to that. But I have to leave some meat on the bone for you guys. Now it is revealed that Soul Crusher is using this fight with Cygor as a way to attract Spawn, forcing Spawn to draw him into this fight. Soul Crusher lands a blow to Cygor that sends him into space, literally. This is an awesome book just to be straightforward and it doesn't provide much backstory, but that's okay. I wanna see some fighting. But that doesn't mean the monologue in this book is rich in backstory, it is. And what's going on with Spawn internally? When Cyborg lands in the ocean and Soul Crusher goes after him and dies right in to finish it off, Spawn shows up and stops this bull jive. And Spawn doesn't give a damn that this guy is just a human. Spawn is looking to unleash his full power and wrath on this guy. But Soul Crusher's suit is protected by military grade tech. Soul Crusher gets cocky and says, Hammer away! You can't get past this shield. And if you can't get past this shield, I don't know how you got off the Omega Island. Now he tries to flex his superiority to Spawn by saying, I don't know how you non-humans are better than us non-humans if they couldn't, if y'all if couldn't unlock the dead zones. Spawn plans on dealing with him later, but in the meantime, he realizes he has to retreat and get Cygord out of the water because for all he knows, Cygord can't breathe underwater. Out you go into the land, prepare for a rough landing, my man. Spawn has to check if his boy is okay, and initially it doesn't appear that he'll make it. Eventually, Cygor barely opens his eyes and spawns elated and plans to get Cygor to safety and remove him. Well, that's short-lived because Soul Crusher blinds him with an attack and he wants to prove himself. Soul Crusher seems to be a little overconfident and perhaps Soul Crusher may have underestimated Spawn. And the later pages, we see Spawn's true power or close to his true power being unleashed. If you're hoping for Soul Crusher's backstory, you're not going to get in this book. And that's okay. This is a great issue if you're going to enjoy this. Lots of fighting and cool looking visuals. Soul Crusher to me seems very interesting. I'm curious to see what his backstory is because we have no backstory indication of him aside from his military grade tech. And this book is definitely worth the price if you're into that kind of stuff. If you're new to Spawn and are just looking for a straightforward issue to start reading to Spawn, this is great for you too. Link in description, by the way. I'm in this review here to leave some meat on the bone for you guys, and I'm confident you will thoroughly enjoy this issue. With that being said, what do you think of Spawn issue 320? Comment below, let me know. And by the way, if you like the content we're throwing up, you know what to do. Here at Rated Comics, we do cool comic book reviews, comic book related content with the occasional comic book giveaways. With that being said, thanks again for watching. Until next time.